See our sister station there. Good to hear that people yeah. actually are able to recover from this. It's a no great, it's, it's an incredible story actually very quickly about the fact that today's safety in airplanes yeah. is even better than it was 10 years ago. No question. Yeah. When you first look at some of that video, yeah. it's just incredible. Uh, you know, right, we, had, you we had more clouds today than mm -hmm. we anticipated. Uh, tomorrow, we're still going to have some clouds, and you can already feel that moisture in the air. That will help to eventually lead to quite a few showers and thunderstorms. I want to show you what's going to be the setup for this active weather pattern that's going to get going tomorrow night and last right into early Wednesday. First of all, we're going to have this stationary front uh, lying across parts of Minnesota, Iowa, and right into our area, and then extending through parts of Pennsylvania. To our north will be the jet stream, and that jet stream will be passing very nearby. This could actually add some energy to the situation, though I don't think the jet stream being that close is going to be a major player. Meanwhile, at the surface, we're going to continue to see this very moist, southerly flow riding up and over that front, and that's going to trigger numerous thunderstorms right along this front. Uh, some of these uh, storms will fire in some of the same areas. Not a lot of severe weather with this setup, but there could be some locally heavy rains, uh, especially as we head into Tuesday. Here's a look at our microcast rainfall computer model. This one is just updating. Notice, as we head into tomorrow afternoon, maybe a shower or thunderstorm, uh, uh, far western areas after about 3 o'clock, and then some more thunderstorms scattered about tomorrow night. But right now, at least through Monday night, rainfall amounts most places not that heavy, uh, generally a quarter to a third of an inch. I think the heavier storms will come Tuesday into early Wednesday. The same upper level low that brought us the clouds still bringing a lot of rain to parts of Ohio, Kentucky, and Pennsylvania. This has been the case really for the past several days. Our high temperature today, 83 degrees. Last year on the state, we set a record high getting up to 103. The low last year on the state, 82. That's just one degree lower than today's high. 75 degrees right now, but with the dew point of 64, it feels like it's 78. 76 right now at Midway, 76 in Griffith, and 76 degrees downtown. There's the clouds still blanketing the area. We're seeing a few breaks in those clouds. Meanwhile, the heavier showers with our upper level low that's moving to the east continues downstate and just to the west of Nashville, and some of that moisture extends all the way down to the Gulf Coast states. But that disturbance is not of concern to us. What is of concern is this frontal boundary. It's going to move slowly eastward, maybe an isolated thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon, but as that front moves into the area and then stalls out, a better chance of thunderstorms Monday into Wednesday. So partly cloudy, muggy overnight, 64 to 71 for lows, variably cloudy, maybe a thunder shower late in your day Sunday, high temperature 85. Looking ahead to the next several days, you can see highs remain in the 80s. After we get past midday Wednesday, things will dry out. You'll notice less humidity and temperatures will be a little bit cooler for Thursday and Friday. But throughout the period, you know, you see highs in the 80s, no excessive heat. But uh, again, the, our concern will be those uh, showers and storms during the first half of the work. All right, often happens when you start to get a bit of that heat. Yep. All right, Phil, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Well, Sienna, Sienna